In this video, we'll be learning how to use and understand air velocity measurements, as well as air flow measurements. We will go through a step-by-step -step process on both of these measurements. Air velocity measurements. Number one, connect the sensor to the sensor input jack on top of the meter. Number two, turn on the meter using the on and off button. The VEL indicator should appear on the upper left of the LCD. If not, press and hold the mode button until a beep is heard. Repeat this procedure until VEL appears on the display. Number four, place the sensor in the air current to be measured. Number five, view the air velocity and temperature readings on the LCD display. The upper display shows the air velocity reading the lower display shows the tip. And next we move to airflow measurement. Step one, turn on the meter with the on and off button. Step two, press and hold the mode button until a beep is heard. Area appears on the display and one digit will be blinking indicating the value can be changed. For the next steps, you'll need the square foot of your register, which we have already measured. And be sure to take free air calculations according to manufacturer specifications. Step three, press the hold button to adjust the digit to the value needed. Step four, press the average button to select the next digit for editing. Step five, when the area is correctly entered, press the min-max button once. A beep will sound and the digits will stop blinking. Step six, press the hold button once to store the area value. Step seven, the meter is now ready to measure airflow. Place the sensor in the air current and view the airflow and temperature readings on the LCD. Then record your measurements. Conclusion, we hope this tutorial helps you better understand the E10 AMP probe anometer. Thanks for watching.